What's going on guys? It's Harrison and Evan from the Wildlife Brothers, and today we're out here in central Ohio looking for a species of snake that we have spent years searching for without success so far, the queen snake. Now for this expedition we have a very special treat. To make sure that this mission is a success, we are not out here alone. All right, so you want to introduce yourself, Andrew? Yeah, my name's Andrew Hoffman, and I have a channel called Life Underfoot. And on this channel, we talk about wildlife, just like you see here on the Wildlife Brothers. And I have a research background, at least in recent years. I'm working on my PhD. So we've uh, tried to bring you some behind the scenes look at some of the research we've done, and hopefully in the future that other people are doing. Um, but I'm glad to be here today uh, out with the Wildlife Brothers and looking for some snakes. The queen snake is a fairly abundant species across its range, but it requires a very specific set of ecological conditions in order to thrive. Because of this, we had never seen one before, but with Andrew's knowledge and experience as our secret weapon, we set off down the stream with high hopes of finding one. The best way to find queen snakes is to flip rocks by the water's edge, and that is exactly what we did. After a little while of searching the bank of the stream, Evan called out our very first queen snake. There she is, <gasps> the species we were after today, the queen snake. This is actually our lifer too. This is so, so exciting. There are the lines right underneath. Without a doubt, that's the queen snake. Now these are queen snakes and I can't tell you guys how exciting this is. Right as Harrison and I were jumping up and down over this queen snake, Andrew pulls out an even larger one from right off the bank. Now queen snakes are endemic to North America, so they can be found from southern Ontario down through New York, and as far down on the east coast as Alabama and northern Florida. They go all the way throughout the Midwest and as far west as Wisconsin, so they are a pretty widespread species, just not one that we encounter very often back in PA. Now we're here in central Ohio, which is where we found these two little guys, and these guys prefer rocky-bottomed riparian or river habitats. They spend a lot of their time collecting heat under rocks or actually out in the streams where they're going to be doing some hunting. Queen snakes are an amazing species because they eat almost entirely crayfish. And the only place that you're going to find enough crayfish to support a crayfish-eating snake is in a stream like this. There's a huge density of crayfish in the stream right behind me. And not only do they need enough crayfish, they need enough crayfish that are undergoing a molt. Because when those crayfish molt, their exoskeleton is much softer and much easier for this snake to eat. So you need an even higher density of crayfish than you'd expect in clean rocky streams like this to find queen snakes. Now their hunting strategy is fascinating. What they will do is they will poke around both by the water's edge and also in the creek itself. These guys can hunt both on land and in the water. And they're actually smelling for the crayfish once they've molted off their hard exoskeleton. And they use their tongue for that purpose. They can actually take in scent particles out of the air or the water, run that over an organ on the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ, and that's what they use to locate their prey here in the stream. Queen snakes are one of the most docile, easygoing snakes you could find. And actually, they're a great snake for people who are a little nervous about snakes because of that. They almost never bite. Now, they don't make good pets. Their diet is so specific that they almost never eat in captivity, so this is not something you want to take home and try to keep as a pet. But for people who find one out in nature, this is a great snake to get up close and personal with because they are so docile. So queen snakes are probably more tied to water quality than most other snakes you're going to find. There are water snakes in this stream, but they'll eat fish, they'll eat frogs, uh, they'll eat a number of different prey items. They don't have to eat just one thing. They don't necessarily have to eat just one thing that lives in the stream. Queen snakes only eat crayfish. And so when crayfish populations decline through loss of water quality, siltation, other issues around stream health, so does the queen snake population. So this is a snake that you're only gonna find at really high quality streams, like this beautiful rocky stream behind me that have really healthy crayfish populations. And you might think, why should I care about a snake that's so specialized? But this beautiful little animal is part of a healthy ecosystem. More biodiversity is healthier for the ecosystem in general, and you never know what the loss of a single species might do. So it's always better when we can to help preserve these species, even really specialized species like this queen snake. All right, everyone, so this is it. We are about to release our lifer queen snake. So we're gonna get this guy back into the rocks, 
But what an amazing species of snake. We couldn't have asked for a better day out here. If you're ever out and you find an amazing little critter like this queen snake and you pick it up for a closer look, just make sure you always put it back right where you found it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, they really don't make great pets and they're best appreciated out in their natural environment. So with a little bit of forced perspective, we're gonna get you guys a physically distanced outro here. But Evan and I had an absolutely amazing time out here in the creek today, getting our lifer queen snakes in hand. We could not have asked for a better herping trip out here in Ohio. So Andrew, what'd you think? Good day? This was a great day. You know, this late in the year, I just wasn't sure if we'd be able to see much in the way of reptiles out, but I think we, we got one more really nice warm day and that brought the snakes out. It was a great time. It was. Thank you very much to Andrew Hoffman. Be sure to check out his channel, Life Underfoot. There will be a link in the description down below. And while you're down there, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the Wildlife Brothers because we have a ton of new content coming out very soon.